Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and if you uh, are not new here, you're probably thinking, huh, two, two films in one day? Yes, yes I do. It's still the 4th of July, I'm still filming, and I still love my eyes right now. Oh, child. Quick story time for you guys though. So you know how when you put on uh, lashes, you use this thing called lash glue? Yeah, I almost uh, put fake lashes on today with super glue. Whew, had the lashes out, I had the tube out, and I looked at the tube one last time. Super glue. And I was like, hoo hoo, child. That would have been a hot minute. Anyways, you guys, I am coming back with you today with a requested video, and it is about the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I actually originally was not going to do a video about this release because it was just done a lot, um, but I actually had a request from one of the subscribers on my channel. Um, hey, you know, could you look at it? I'd be interested in what you think about it. So I was like, sure, why not? I'm not upset about talking about Urban Decay. I love Urban Decay. So with this new release, what? The, with the new release of the Heat Palette, they unveiled three new lipsticks, two eye pencils, and child, one partridge in a pear tree that is heat gold beauty. I mean, just, oh, child. The mirror, obviously it does in all, they come with the, the what's that thing? A brush, you know, can't remember. But they come with that. I already took it out, put it in my thing. I love their brushes. And then look at these shades. Oh God, you guys have probably seen this now in like four of my videos. Whew, I love this palette. I have already went ahead, no shade, but I already did swatch them all for you. That way you don't have to watch me swatch them on camera because that's a waste of everyone's time in, in my opinion. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in, show you the swatches. The lip, we're gonna start with the lipsticks, work down to the liners, and then we'll go through the palette. So be ready for some swatching beauty. Swatching, swatching, swatching all my life away. Swatchy, swatchy. Start with the creamy lipstick Fuel. The metallicized heat. Oh God, that's so beautiful. There's like flecks of goldy shimmer in it. We have another metalized one here. This is in the shade Scorched. Gorgeous shimmer shine. Same kind of flaky goldness. For the two liners, you have a purple and then like a burnt orange color. These are in the shades Alkaline for purple and then Torch for the burnt orange color. Okay guys, I hope that that didn't turn out too awkward. I'm trying to feel my bearings on the situation. But seriously, are they not gorgeous? I do want to talk about them. Um, the lip liner, or the lip liners, let's let's start with the eyeliner, shall we? Um, again, Alkaline and Torch are the shade names, and they are so stinking gorgeous. They're like these beautiful matte, like very creamy consistency, very true to the Urban Decay formula. They're just all around great, and I love these colors. I love how they go with the palette. Like, I mean, obviously it's all meant to, Okay, obviously it's all meant to like be cohesive, but can you just see like how they would go together? I mean, this purple, the alkaline color, it, it like smokes out the eye look. You can do such a quick, easy look with this palette and the alkaline one. It like, it, it all blends together so seamlessly. If that's something that you guys would want me to do, let me know in the comments and I will kind of put together a look for that. Now these lipsticks, if I'm being honest about them, like obviously I love all the shades because when you saw them up close, the two metal, metal okay, I keep wanting to call them metallicized, but they, they definitely say metalized. Like, okay, why would I show you that? You can't read it, but it's metalized not metallicized. I know how to, it can't be metalized. Yeah, I just asked Siri and it's definitely metalized. There's no way around it. But anyway, the color Fuel is the only cream and then they have two that are the metalized, one's in Scorch, one's in Heat. So again, those are the two shimmery ones back here. And then the cream one up here, Fuel, is the only cream. It's not a matte. It does have like a, a light kind of like satiny finish to it. So it's not matte, but it's not real gloss. That is my favorite shade. I am obsessed with this color. I think that it is just so beautiful, so easy to wear. I keep wanting to put it on. All right, you win. I put it on. I couldn't give it, I couldn't, I couldn't not anymore. But what I love about this is like, you can tell I put it on over a darker brown, like a matte liquid lipstick. And I love it. It just like brightens up the whole lip. It's so, so creamy. The color and the consistency is so there with their lipsticks. I was actually really afraid when it got down to the metalized ones. I thought I wasn't going to like them. I thought they were going to be like weird, like chalk consistency or that like the, the little flakes that they put in them would make them like weird on my lip. I haven't gotten a chance to wear them a ton because <laughs> I mean, they're not like the most wearable colors for the office, but let's be real. They are so, so stunning. I have a feeling these for me will end up being toppers to like other lipsticks, like something, actually, wonder if I could put them on right now. 
Well, aside from it starting to feel like I'm doing the 100 layer lipstick challenge over here, I got a lot of lipstick on, but like I love that. When you top it over another color, like again, I had on the Celebrity Skin from Jeffree Star. I topped it with the cream one, the Fuel, that I was just dying to try and put on over that. And then I topped that with Heat. So I can't say enough again about the lipsticks. They are, they are, I stutter. They are just that normal, creamy, great consistency that you expect from Urban Decay. Now we're going to end up getting into the swatching part of this palette. I do want to kind of talk to you guys about like the shades and that kind of thing. So as you are looking at the shades, I will be kind of talking about them. So it's going to seem like you're staring at my forearm for a while, but like, you know, can't be helped guys. It just, it just can't be. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it probably could be if I did voiceovers and stuff, but like, I'm just not that fancy. I'm sorry. You come here for real. You don't come here for fanciness, okay? Okay. So we're going to start up here with this top metallic shade. It's kind of hard to see on camera. I'm hoping that it's right here. I'm hoping that you're getting like a feel for it. Um, but that is the shade Ounce. Next up, you have Chaser, Low Blow, Lumbre. I'm not even sure, but like look at the... I don't even care what it's called. That one is like one of my all-time favorite shades in the whole palette. Insanely beautiful. Key Devil, Dirty Talk, Scorched, Cayenne. En Fuego, Ashes, and Ember. Oh, girl. Yeah, I definitely decided to zoom you out to talk because that was obnoxious. But what I love about this, and I'm hoping too that this helps anybody that's like as pasty as me, I hope that this helps give you kind of an idea of what these would look like on your skin tone. What I'm going to say is this. Before I go through and tell you that every shadow is awesome, I'm going to kind of pick through the ones that I was a little bit nervous about when I first originally swatched them before I had a chance to play with them. Key Devil... In Fuego and Ashes are the ones that I was like actually nervous about and let me tell you why. I don't hate these shadows. I actually do not hate any shadow in this entire palette. What I didn't like is that when I had originally swatched them, they were very chalky. Like very, the kind of crumbly, crumbly chalk that like you know would just be Fallout City on your face. And what I loved about them after I swatched them a couple times is that the more that I dug into my pan, the more velvety and they eventually felt like the rest of them, which was my concern. Now, since I have gotten through like that initial layer on my palette, I do feel like that issue has much subsided. So maybe there was just like a film over mine or something. I don't know. That's why I don't ever just go in and start hating a product. I always work with it to make sure what I'm saying is true before I just like go off and hate something. Um, because that's just no way to be, especially on the internet and you know, th that kind of thing. When people are trusting your opinion, you do need to be like as thorough as you can, before you just like go off and spout your life away. So overall, here's the question I always get asked. Is it worth it? I think that worth as far as eyeshadow or any makeup thing that you might buy, anything really, worth is in the eye of the person that's spending it. Did I spend $54 on this palette? Yes, I did. Did I pay full price for my lipsticks and my um, eyeliners? Yes. Or did I have a coupon for those? I might have had a coupon at Ulta for those. I can't remember if I bought them before or after the coupon. But anyways, essentially what I have paid full price, I don't know if I used a coupon or not, but yes, I would have. I love the lipsticks. And again, I say this all the time, but I buy all of my cosmetic-y type stuff like this from Ulta for a reason. That way, if I don't like it for any reason, I can return it. I bought the palette when it was pre-released from Urban Decay's website but I did check. They have a very good return policy as well. I think it's 30 days, um, but I do not plan on returning this palette. I really like it. I love the colors. I love the consistency of them, and quite frankly, there are three shades. These three metallic shades that everyone is obsessed with, I would do my entire face in these shades, okay? I love them so much. They are consistency. They are they are shimmery. They're metallic. They are like, they are that one color that would set off the whole look and take you from like bleh, to wow, you're a superstar. So I love this palette. I love the lipsticks. I really honestly, if I'm being 100% honest, thought I was going to hate the lipsticks. I always love the creamy nude. It's just the way it is. But when it came down to the two metalized ones, I was like, eh, not really gonna be a big fan, you know, eh. But I ended up loving them too. And it's just for the simple fact that they work great for me. Will they work great for everyone? No, I have a couple friends that like, they, they prefer the makeup look where you can't tell they're wearing makeup. And that's okay. You know, maybe this collection isn't for you. Um, do I personally think that people who don't do a lot of makeup or don't like heavy makeup could still find a use for this? Yes, I do. I think that these colors are great at being 
thinned out, sheared out, you can achieve a nice minimal look. You can achieve a very smoky, bold look. There are a lot of ways to use this palette. Now, if that's your aesthetic and you're not in it for that heat smoke intensity, do I recommend this palette? Could you use it? Yes. Do I recommend it? No. Um, I think that there are a lot of other cheaper palettes that you could use that would do the same thing. So, you know, if you have it, cool. If you don't, then I wouldn't recommend buying it if that's your aesthetic. But for the most people that would have bought this palette, it was either A, they love Urban Decay and they buy everything by Urban Decay, or they looked at this color palette and said, wow, that's my life. That's what I did. As far as the blendability of these shadows, I have noticed they are all very pigmented and very blendable. Um, again, some of the chalkier-ish ones, it did take me a little bit longer to blend them out and work them out, but they were definitely blendable. Everything, none of none of my eye looks that I've used with this palette have ended up looking chalky or having like a weird like, oh, did she take the sidewalk chalk up there kind of look. I have not had that with any of these, which I was really, really grateful for. Okay, guys, I hope that you have found this like useful, helpful in some way or another. Um, I wasn't really kind of sure how to go about doing this because obviously I've played with the palette. Everyone's played with the palette. I think this was more of certain people just wanting my opinions of the release, the palette, the lipsticks, the liners, that kind of thing, uh, wanting to know what my take on it was. And so this is kind of what I think. I give the whole thing a thumbs up. I There was not one thing in this collection I did not like. Um, I love the lipsticks. Again, obviously I'm wearing, you know, what, three of them right now? No, two. I'm wearing two plus a Jeffree Star. So, but I love them. I love how they look. Maybe I wouldn't pair them with this eye, but even at that, I just love how they build. And it just goes to show the both opaque nature as well as the sheer ability of their products. Like I love, I love any product that you can wear heavy or light. You know what I'm saying? Like how you can take a shadow. And like I said, with this palette, you can really thin it out, make it a light color. You can smoke it deepen it up and make it like a bold of pop and in intensity. Same with the lipsticks. You know, I could have just taken and put a tiny little sheer amount and been real sheer and given it just a little metallicized like ding, ding, ding to it. Or I could do what I did, which <laughs> I will probably pick bold every time over light. It's just <laughs> my drag nature. Fun fact, I was told the other day that someone thought I had a very drag, drag face. Like my face is just like a big <laughs> draggy canvas. And I was like, yep. You're right, 100%. I, I, I do. I have a very big face. That's why it always looks like it's covered in so much makeup because I, I consider it a blessing. I'm like, yeah, I got a big ass face. Watch me watch me just cake it on, you know, which my, my brushes that I hold like drumsticks and I just beat my face with them, you know? So <laughs> I don't I don't mind that. I consider it a compliment because I love having a larger canvas. Although I do wish my eyelids were like a little bit bigger because they're kind of very small compared to like the rest of my face. But you know, you work with what you got and I just blend like Mimi style up to the brows and we're good to go. Don't even worry about it. Okay guys, for real though, that is it. Um, I hope that you guys have a fabulous day night and I hope you don't mind that my everything is exactly the same as it was in my previous video, but like you gotta film when you can film, right? This is a busy world we be living in. I'm a real hoe over here, okay? I got, I got things to do, okay? Okay. I do think it's time though. I'm pretty sure that the people we were waiting for are ready so I can go and like, you know, live life again. But I will talk to you guys all later and uh, yeah. Bye. I would bet a hundred dollars that I am getting lipstick all over my boob right now. Oh, yep. Shadows on the other boob. I got lipstick on one, shadows on the other. Ooh, so cute.